Hi everyone, it's Judy Mitchell with Premier Sotheby's International Realty right here on Long Oak Key and I have the housing market update so you know what's happening in our real estate market in Long Oak Key. So I'm going to give you all the statistics and give you some of my thoughts and you know right off the bat I can tell you one of the things that I have noticed most recently is that we have more inventory under the one million dollar mark. This is below sort of fair market, fair median price uh, condos in our market. We currently have 19 of uh, homes listed on the market right now that are under 1 million. At this time last year, we only had seven. So as you can see, the lower price condos are coming back on the market, and that could be for a number of reasons. I think one of the you know, factors that has impacted the lower price condos here on Longboat is that insurance premiums have increased. And of course, that affects the HOAs, you know, the monthly fees that you pay when you own a condominium. And because of that, uh, people at the lower price points are starting to move out. They're starting to sell their properties, maybe move inland where the insurance is cheaper. Um, but there's still a wonderful market out here um, for people who want to be close to the beach and are willing to pay those insurance premiums. I know I'm one of them. I have high insurance premiums at my house, but you know what? It is worth every penny to me to live on Longboat Key because it's such a special place. So right now we have 169 um, active homes on the market. That's a combination of single family homes as well as condos. And out of the 169, 84 of those are condominiums. Now, we have a variety of condominiums available from one bedroom all the way up to four bedroom. Now, with the uh, looking at my notes here, um, on a one bedroom condo right now, we have actually seven on the market. Two bedroom condos, we have 51 on the market. And three bedroom condos, not a lot of those, only 25 on the market. And four bedroom condos, only one on the market. Those are really, really tough to find. And typically, if you're looking for a three or four bedroom, we have three bedroom uh, condos certainly, but once we get up into the four, five, six bedrooms, you're typically looking at a single family home, of course. So at any given time, about 61%, 60 can be up to as much as 71% of our available inventory is two bedroom condos. It really makes up most of our, our inventory. Now, one of the other market indicators that I always look at is how many deals have we had in the last 30 days? And when I looked up homes that were pending, condos and single family homes, I found that in the month of February, we had 28 properties go pending or take offers. So that's about one a day, actually, for the month of February. So we are you know, still selling at a rapid pace, not as quickly as we were selling at this time last year. And one of those market indicators is that uh, we look at days on market and how long a property stays on the market once it's been listed. And right now, our average is 19 days. Um, so typically, a home is going to last on the market about 19 days before it takes an offer. So what does this mean to you? Well, it means that if you're shopping for a condo, you have a little bit longer time to look. You can, um, you know, um, sort of work within that time frame. Although if it's a really hot property, I will say they are going quicker. And I've seen homes go in a day when they have an ocean uh, gulf front view or they're perfectly done on the inside. But if you're looking at anything outside of that, it may last on the market a little bit longer. So I think that's super important to know. This time last year, we were looking at under 10 days on market typically. So that's a big change that we have uh, noticed in the market. Now, there were 23 sales that happened in the month of February on Longboat Key, and our median price uh, for a home, condo or single family home, was 1.5 million. And this is actually an increase over last year. So you may hear reports that the market is slowing down, and while the pace is slowing down, the values have not dropped. So our median price is 1.5 million. This time last year, it was 1.172. So that's a pretty significant increase. Now, all right, I also want to talk about some of the price points that have been selling. Now, the most expensive home that sold in February was a condominium at Regent Place, which is on Longboat Key Club Road, just prime real estate, beautiful luxury, uh, right on the Gulf Coast, right on the beach, uh, incredible building, and that sold for, I'm gonna need my glasses for this because it starts with a four. And, it is 4,695,000. That was a three bedroom condo 
high-end luxury building. Now, our lowest price um, condominium that sold was actually a one-bedroom condominium in the Longboat Beach Comer, and that went for $475,000. So now typically uh, in the luxury market for a two bedroom to three bedroom home or a two bedroom flexible to a three bedroom two plus a den in Grand Bay or Sanctuary, those homes are running between two to three million dollars. And we had some significant sales in those buildings uh, in the month of February. Those are highly desirable luxury buildings and we have had a few sales take place in those buildings. Now the lower priced units typically are going for anywhere from the 400s to I would say in the six to seven hundreds, and so those buildings typically look like you know Windward Bay, uh, Spanish Main, which is a 55 plus community, C Place. You know, C Place really runs the gamut um, of price point, but you can get a great condominium in C Place, which is really like a beautiful resort on the Gulf, for about six hundred thousand. Um, Longboat Harbor um, range, you know, price range in there can be anywhere from mid 400s to up to eight or 900s with perfect views. And Longboat Harbor is a great, a really great community because they have boat slips available, a great clubhouse, uh, fantastic access to the Gulf beaches, even though they're located on the bay side, uh, but they have a beautiful pavilion, just a fantastic community. So that's kind of the overview of what's happening in the market. And I will say just from being out there in the market, talking to sellers and talking to buyers every single day, I can tell you the pacing has you know, absolutely slowed down. Prices, I'm not seeing a huge drop, um, not for those homes that are in excellent condition. If a property is in less than excellent condition, needs repair, needs updating, maybe hasn't been updated in 20 or 30 years, those properties tend to sit on the market much longer and they're much harder to sell. So that means they really have to be priced right. So if you're on the buy side, you gotta really look at the numbers and make sure that you're getting um, you know, exactly the right price for the proper comparables. If you're a seller, you have got to price your property exactly accurately. Otherwise, it's going to sit on the market. And what happens when your property sits on the market is that the longer it takes to sell, statistically, the lower the price point will be. And the worst thing you can do is chase that market down with small, small price you know, discounts. So best thing to do is have a fantastic marketing strategy, launch your house with you know, just great fanfare, have it you know, properly prepared and you know, just um, priced exactly where it needs to be on the market and a really smart marketing strategy. So that's my advice to you. That's what's happening in the market here in Longboat Key uh, for February, 2023. My name is Judy Mitchell and you can reach me anytime uh, at 941-275-6838. I live here and work here right in Longboat and I'm happy to help you out anytime.